My name is Spicy GB, and welcome back to another episode of my Terraria 1.3 Let's Play. We are starting off today's episode by doing a bunch of stuff inside of the house. Namely, going ahead, taking all of these souls and this Ranger emblem, and what we're going to do is we're going to make it into an Avenger emblem. Now, obviously, the Avenger emblem uh, recipe has indeed changed from 1.3. It just requires souls and one emblem instead of it requiring the, uh, the old three types of emblems you could get. So, yeah, pretty cool. And um, what this will do is it will give us 12% increased damage just in general. We've got a spiked one, so it's now a total of 14% increased damage, which is very, very nice indeed. Now, in today's episode, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to attempt to take down Duke Fishron, okay? Because I want to try and get the flare on, and if I can't get the flare on, the... F was it the fish run wings? Is, it, is that the one? Yeah, that, that might be pretty decent to get, and failing that, maybe... Maybe the bubble gun will be kind of cool. Do you know pretty much all the drops on uh, Jig Fisher are pretty damn cool, aren't they? The tsunami as well is very, very good. And yeah, we will be using the uh, Daedalus Stormbow to try and take him down. And aside from that, I think that's all we need to really do. I'm going to be replacing the Obsidian Shield with the Avenger Emblem, so all is good. But obviously, what we need to do, my friends, is we need to go down to the underground mushroom biomes and we need to see what's going on but before we do that i'll just give you a quick uh, update on the uh, house situation right here as you can see we've got the grass walls you guys very correctly pointed out the fact that the dryad is the one who sells the grass background walls you can get the uh, grass walls the flower walls and of course the jungle walls i actually mixed it up a bit with the uh, grass and the flower walls as you can see got some flowers in there but mostly it's grass and yeah it's 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 looking pretty cool. Got little lamps around the place as well, just to make it look a bit more sort of townly, I guess. <laughs> it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool, my friends. I'm uh, I'm enjoying this, man. I'm enjoying this base. And I've also got myself a little sort of tree farm thing going here, which again is kind of cool because we kind of need it because we don't have a great deal of wood beside our base. So uh, so yeah. Right now, let's just have a quick look. See for the nearest mushroom biome. There's one right here. It is very very small though. That's the only problem. Uh, okay, there appears to be another one down here, which I guess is okay. Is there any larger ones? Doesn't seem to be the case. Hmm. Okay, we only have two mushroom biomes. Interesting, interesting stuff. Can I just say, I love this die. For those of you guys who don't know what this is, I've got the uh, the Grim die on my turtle armor, and then I've got the reflective metal die on the wings, and it just looks so cool, the red and the black. It makes me look like... It makes me look like such a badass. Kind of reminds me of my Minecraft Creeper skin, because it's kind of red and black as well. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, so let's go down, shall we? Uh, let's grab our bug net out. That'd be a good idea, right? And we need... Oh my god, I can see myself in the dark. This is weird. This is very weird. Okay, right. Now, where's the... Oh, it's right there. Okay, so we need to head off to the left-hand side. That's right, just up here. And who knows, we might get lucky. We might be able to get ourselves a, uh, a truffle worm first time going. Well, let's be honest, the chances of that happening are very, very slim indeed. There appears to be an enchanted sword coming my way, but now he is dead. Lol. Right. Okay, now, are there any truffle worms? Go on, go on, give me the luck. Give me the luck. I can see a strange plant down there. Now that I have a die trader, I should probably start picking these things up, right? See what other kind of dies we can get. Okay, right. Any sign of a truffle worm? No. Of course there isn't. What if I stand up here for a little while? Maybe maybe one will spawn in. Let's just have a quick look-see. Uh. Ew. Right. Huh. That was, uh... That was, uh... That, that was Medusa, ladies and gentlemen. Froze me on the spot and made me fall to my death. That is fantastic. I keep forgetting that she's a thing. You get frozen in the air, your fall damage gets multiplied by so, so much. It's ridiculous. You saw there that I took like 900 damage just from a short fall. That's, that, that is the power of Medusa. So, yeah, you don't want to come across uh, early game. <laughs> oh, man. Right, okay. Uh, let's go into this mushroom biome down here, maybe. Maybe there's something in here. This sure would be cool. Uh, ow. You do a lot of damage, dude. I don't know, like... Right. Uh. Okay, right, now then, you ugly mugs, where are you all at? No, no, no sign of any truffle worms? No, of course there isn't. Hey, buddy, 
Right, I'll tell you what, we're gonna have to skip ahead until we manage to find a truffle worm. So, yeah, I'm gonna do exactly that. I'll be back shortly, friends. Alrighty, guys, according to my rare creature detector, there's a truffle worm nearby. So, I need to try and find him. Ah. That slime just killed him, didn't he? Oh, hey there, buddy. What you got for me, dude? Ooh, shop yo-yo glove allows the use of two yo-yos at once. What format C? <laughs> I like that. That's a computer reference. That is cool. Wow. I need a total of 75 gold to buy all of this stuff. Uh, right, we've got another blessed apple. We don't really need that. Oh, man. Magic dagger. Already got loads of them back at base. Don't really need that. Oh, man. God damn. That is... Uh, that is quite an accessory. I kind of really want that, but I really don't want to go back home. What do I do, man? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I could sell them. No. 40 gold for a Clintaminator. No. Really need something to sell. Metal detector. We don't need the clad in the bottle. We've already got a bunch of them. Crystal shards. Oh, those are... Those are worth a fair amount, actually. Holy crap. I could probably go ahead and farm a bunch of those and then probably get a bunch of money doing that. Huh. Might as well put that in there as well. Do you know what? We're going to sell the strange plant because why not? Don't need that. Don't need the silver bars at all. Oh, man. All right. We need to, we need to try and keep this guy in our sights. If we can keep this guy in our sights, we might actually be able to do this thing. I don't know, man. It's a, it's a tall task. I'm not going to lie. We just need to keep him in our sights and we might actually be able to do this. All right, okay, uh, more shards, 96 silver. Oh, we need 50 gold. We have a total of, what, 30, 38, maybe? 38, 38, 38. What could we possibly sell? Because I really want all of this stuff, man. Seedler, butcher's chainsaw. Ah, I really want those accessories, man. But I don't know. I can't. Can I trap him? I'm going to try and trap you, alright? If this works, then I'm going to be very, very surprised. He's, he's going to disappear, isn't he? He's going to disappear. He's definitely going to disappear. There's no way he won't disappear. I don't even have anything to sell, really. Uh, maybe I could sell some of these souls. Uh, I'll keep 15 of each. There's no way he's going to stay there, man. There's just no way. Uh, anything else that I could sell, perhaps? Endgame stuff? Not really. Beetle husk? I could make beetle armor. Ooh, that's interesting. I should probably do that, actually, shouldn't I? Oh, man. Right. Okay, I'll tell you what, We'll skip ahead until we... Oh, here we go. Crimtain ore. That'd be a good thing to sell. Right, okay. There's butterflies galore, but I don't really care about that. I really want to get that blooming accessory thing because I've never seen that before man that's brand new come on come on come on come on oh man I bet he disappears as soon as you move off screen right if he's still there I'm gonna be very very surprised I'm also very very happy come on come on come on falling down falling down falling 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 down oh man falling is so slow okay oh he has gone no man oh Dude, is, is it going to be one of those days today, man? Just, nothing's gone my way so far. I had a truffle worm that was killed by one of these blooming illuminant slime butt faces and then blooming skeleton merchant who has cool stuff and I can't buy any of it because he despawned. Ah, okay, okay. Calm down, Pythi. Calm down. Keep calm. Get a cup of tea and carry on. According to the little detector, there's a truffle worm around here somewhere. Where are you? Oh, he's over to that side. There is no possible way. <laughs> oh my god, nothing is going my way today, dudes. Nothing is going my way. This is unbelievable. Uh, if I manage to get this guy, I will be very, very, very surprised. How close can I go without him... Ah, oh, yep, he's gone. Great. I'm telling you, man, if I don't get the truffle worm this time, I don't even know what I'm going to do. All right, he's down there. Should be able to get him. Got him! Oh, finally. 
third time lucky. Okay, okay. There we go. That feels a bit better now for my friends. That feels a bit better. Now that we finally got one. <laughs> I'm feeling I'm feeling a bit better now, my friends. We all good up in here. Right, I tell you what, just for the sake of future stuffs, I think I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit more truffle worm farming. Uh, just so we don't have to do it later on if we need to farm Duke Fish Run. So yeah, I'm gonna continue on. Oh, and straight away, another truffle worm. Okay. Things might be turning around, folks. Where is he? Uh truffle worm? What the devil is he? No rare creatures nearby. Huh, he must have got killed. Alright, I see a truffle worm up there. Oh, right, here we go. Yeah! <laughs> gotcha! You little bum! <laughs> Think you can get away from me? No sorry! Huh, another skeleton merchant. Alright, do you have the yo-yo glove? Come on, come on. Yes! Oh, he returneth! He returneth with all the cool things in the world that I actually want to have. Cross necklace is only worth three silver? What the heck? That seems wildly unbalanced, considering it's a hard mode accessory. For it to sell for three silver, that seems really wrong. Hmm. Anyway, yo-yo glove. Let's have one of them. Uh, counterweight. I'm pretty sure. Do we already have counterweights? I have no idea. Format C, I do love the name of that, it's so cool. Right, okay, uh, let's sell that, let's grab this, and this requires 20 gold, but we don't really need it, so I think we're gonna be, uh, I think we're gonna be good. Yeah, pretty much, we're good. Sweet, cheers, buddy. Ha! Number three has been cool. Okay, three times six, six, six. Okay. Oh, that number, though. <laughs> hmm, I'll tell you what. Should we go for five? I think five might be a, uh, a pretty be nice number of worms to have. It'll be a nice amount of attempts to kill the uh, Duke Fish Run boss, of course. And if we do manage to kill him, then uh, yeah, it'll be good for farming. So, yeah, I'm gonna continue on. That's number four. Sweet. Slime? <laughs> In hard mode? Okay. Uh, that's pretty hilarious, actually. I like that. <laughs> I like how it still happens, even though it's hard mode right now, man. That's, that's pretty hilarious. Right, I'm still trying to go for five truffle worms. We currently have four, so we only need one more. And then we're pretty much done with this little farming session here. So one good thing about being down here in the underground hallow slash underground mushroom biomes is the fact that I'm getting a lot of souls of light. So we will be going ahead and uh, taking down a mim- Oh, God damn it, man! You keep killing my blooming truffle worms. I'll tell you something. Such a pain in the butt. Right, what do you got this time? Format C again? Uh, yeah, it's all the same stuff. All right, I'll tell you what, we'll leave that for now. And we shall organize our inventory. Quick stack a bunch of stuff, and I'll bring you guys back very shortly. Oh, oh no, this is terrible. Oh, oh no, oh god, no, King Slime. Oh, oh gee, oh no. I'll tell you something, that was the most difficult thing I think I've ever had to do. Did you see that battle? That was an epic battle right there. Oh, man. Are you getting the sarcasm from my voice? <laughs> oh, dear, oh, dear. What is even the point, bro? What was even the point of that? Hmm? There wasn't much point now, was there? Let's be honest. Right, okay, so, uh, I would like to go down to the loom, and I would like to- Ah, oh, goddamn, I blimey quick stacked it all, didn't I? Oh dear, right, yeah, that's what I need. So let's go grab that, let's go down to the loom, let's make it all into, uh, silk, and what I believe- Oh, here we go! We can make white string, that is what I need, because what I should be able to do now is, for the first time ever, make a yo-yo bag. Pretty cool! Gives the user master yo-yo skills. Oh my god. That sounds awesome. That really does sound pretty damn cool. Right, okay. Uh, I guess a good thing to do would be to reforge this. So if Mr. Goblin Guy... Wait, is he up there now? You moved house or are you just having a bit of a stroll? Oh no, man. Sorry, buddy. I have to interrupt your conversation because I kind of need something better than this. Uh, violent. Bad. This is bad. Yeah, that's that's decent. Okay, that's decent. Spiked Avenger Emblem. Uh, is that two percent? Yep, that's two. Oh, that's a squeak. I apologize. Oh man. Okay, not bad. Not bad. 158 damage. If we put this on, 
162 damage. Uh, okay, so how does it look? I don't get it. It's still only using one yo-yo. Do I... Wait, what? I'm confused. Oh! Whoa! That is crazy! It is two Eye of Cthulhu yo-yos. Wow. Um... Ah... <laughs> uh... This should be interesting, to say the very least. Right, I tell you what, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get some things together, get some things ready, my friends, and I'll meet you guys over by the ocean. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the ocean biome. You do, of course, remember that I shielded off this biome so it will never become corruptified or crimsonified or hallowified. None of those words are actually words, but oh well, I just made them up, so yeah. Pretty cool. But anyways, guys, I have been informed that apparently if you go away from the ocean biome when fighting Duke Fisher and he apparently becomes enraged. Now, I don't exactly know what the enraged status means for Duke Fisher, because obviously I've never seen it before. But it would certainly be interesting to find out, but probably not on this first run. Maybe later down the line once we're confident we can take him down like real easy. But aside from that, what I've done is I've just made a big platform with some campfires over the entire ocean. So, yeah. And before we get into this, I just want to jump into the question of the video really quick, which comes from a user by the name of Nicole Zantiotis. Zantiotis? I do apologize if I butchered your surname, but I'm not really good with names and I'm not good with pronunciation, so you'll have to forgive me. But the question is, what is your favorite pre-hard mode boss? That would have to be Queen Bee without any shadow of a doubt because she has the most drops, I believe, pre-hard mode, aside from the Wall of Flesh, which kind of is like the gateway into hard mode, so I guess this class is a pre-hard mode boss, but still, I like Queen Bee because of the bee's knees. The bee's knees is just a, such a cool weapon to use, it really is, and uh, yeah, there just isn't really any other, other reason apart from that. I love the bee's knees, so yeah, it's, it's a thing that I like to have. So, here we go. The Eye of Cthulhu now does 180 damage. I did replace the uh, Obsidian Shield with the Avenger Emblem. So, without further ado, it's time for Duke Fish Run. This is going to be interesting. Alright. And... Here we go. And buff. And... Here we go. How much damage is this going to do? I have absolutely no idea. Hopefully, it'll be a nice amount. What's she at? What's she? <laughs> what is What is he slash she at? I have no idea. Nor do I even know if you have a gender, so... Yeah, I should probably get rid of the map, shouldn't I? Just so we can actually see what's going down! In... In... In the town of... Fishron. Alright. You don't even have a town, do you? Not really. Alright. Damn, this yo-yo plus the yo-yo bag is doing such a good amount of damage. I mean, look at it, man. Look. 33k health, 32k health. I wish I had the blooming DPS meter, because then I might actually be able to know what's going down. Ah! Okay, but yeah, this thing is doing a very, very huge amount of damage, and I'm a big, big fan of it. Right, we need to try and keep him around here. We're going to go in second form now. Ouchie! I'm getting hurt. Okay, let's just try and keep ourselves in this place. Okay, doing a lot of damage now. Okay, we're still good though for now. Ow! God damn it, these detonating bubbles, they might be the death of me, actually. I'm not gonna lie. Alright, 14k health. Come on, man. Can we do this? Yes or no? I'm hoping the answer is gonna be yes, of course! Oh, oh man, there's blooming nados everywhere. Come on, buddy! Out and health. Okay. Oh, man, we should be able to take this guy. Come on! 8k! Come on, man! I'm confident. We can do this, man! We can do this! I'm not dying when you've got, like, less than... Like, a sixth of health, or a tenth of health. Come on! And... Where are you? Dead! And I am almost also dead. Ugh. Oh, God! Let's be careful. Let's be careful. Oh, good Lord. Right, okay. Woohoo! You be dead, son! Right, okay. Uh, now I just need to go find where the loot is. Getting some hearts over here. Oh, we got the tsunami first time! Wow. That's pretty decent, man. That is pretty decent. Quite an upgrade from the Daedalus Stormbow, certainly. Blimey. That's, uh, that's pretty decent. That is pretty dang decent. There we go. The Eye of Cthulhu plus the Yo-Yo Bag and a bunch of damage accessories. Well, I say damage accessories. Uh, yeah, pretty much these two. Gauntlet and the Avenger Emblem. Both are very good. Big fan of both. Okay, so. I think to finish off, just to finish off, we are going to grab some of these out. Okay, and we're going to grab out a chest. Do we have any regular chests? Yes, we do. Okay, uh, we should be able to do this. 
make a key. We're gonna fight ourselves a wee mimic because why the heck not? Uh, we're gonna do it in the tree area because it's quite flat and awesome. All right, okay, so uh, let's put that down. Let's put the key in there and bada bing bada boom. Hi, 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 how are you doing? Hi, and you dead. What is that? A demonic flying knife? What the hell is this? Throws a controllable flying knife. Um, how far does it go? It goes all the way off the screen? God damn. I don't know if this is any good though. Hmm, I don't know man. Maybe you'll have to use it a little bit. Maybe uh, do a little bit of off screen stuff. And yeah, I'll probably bring you guys in the next episode to give my verdict on it. But at the moment, I don't know if it's a good weapon or not. So. Yeah, but aside from that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, my question of the video to you guys will be passed on. What is your favourite pre-hard mode boss? Leave your responses in the comments area below. And of course, if you would like to have a chance of yours being used and your name shouted out, leave your question in the comments area below. So yes, guys, wrapping up the episode, want to thank you guys for watching. If you did enjoy the episode and of course you're excited to see more, be sure to drop a like, right, my friends, It'd be much appreciated. And of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. I feel like I should be capturing all of these dudes. We should probably do that. There we go. Maybe do a bit of fishing soon. Do -do 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 -do. Fireflies everywhere. Give me. I want them all. There we go. <laughs> Fantastic. Anyways, guys, thank you very much for watching. Your support has been much appreciated. And I'll see you in the next episode.